time. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. Are you sure about that? It's a good place. We are in the middle of it, right up on the mountain. If this son of a bitch wants to bitch about his cows over here and shoot at me, well, it's our country. All right, what's up, nerds and virgins? Let's have a talk about mission dictating your gear. There is an obnoxious amount of videos out there. Recce loadouts, CQB loadouts, SHTF loadouts. Uh, you name it. It's just all out there. And there is this idea that all over the place that mi your mission should dictate your gear. That is dumb. That is dumb. There's only one type of gear that should be dictated by your mission. And that is, go ahead, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. You're going to let me know. Let me know if you get it. Right. It's going to be revolutionary. Wait for you to hear it. That is mission essential gear that's right i had a bug in i can rub it if i want mission essential gear that's the only type of gear that is dictated by the mission that's it your fighting load kit it shouldn't have to change what's the historical preference for that um every conventional military since the dawn of time did uh they did in world war ii were they changing their kits when they were in uh, an urban environment? Then when, when they were in fucking a bunch of uh, crop fields? No. Did they do that in Vietnam? No. Did the Marines do that in Iraq? No. Were the Marines wearing the same relative kit? when they were kicking in doors in Iraq and pushing through Fallujah that they were in Afghanistan in the mountains? Yes. So why do you, as a civilian, think that you need to have a different kit for all these different missions that we probably wouldn't even ever have to fucking do anyways, right? You don't. Your kit should be relatively the same. So that's number one. Can you clear a fucking room with an LBE with a big ass butt pack on? Yes, you can. So, and most of this is the cop out, right? Like that's what most of this is. Let's just be honest. It's well, mission dictates gear. I need a fucking another chest rig. That's what you're telling your wife, okay? But you don't need to lie to us, right? We all get it. Uh, this is coming from somebody who has a, an addiction problem with buying fucking gear that I don't need. Okay, I'm not even going to ramble it all off. I'll show it as I go along in this channel. But yeah, there's a fucking femur right in front of me that I didn't notice. That's a pedophile, okay? Yeah, I'm taking, yeah. If you're local pedophiles, you better fucking watch yourself. But yeah, mission does, not, see now I'm going off on tangents and I lost where the fuck I was at. Mission does not dictate gear. It doesn't, unless it is mission essential gear. What is mission essential gear? It is gear that is essential to the mission. That's right. What's essential to the mission? Well, it's specialized gear, right? Water, ammo, rifle, that's all going to be the same. You always need water on you. That's always going to be mission essential gear. Um, that should go without saying. There's certain things that should go without saying. Food, water, shelter. Water, shelter, food, in this case are all mission essential gear. Well, what is shelter? It's your clothing, right? You shouldn't have a t-shirt on like me, but it's a cool t-shirt. That's why I got it on. It's your pants. It's making sure you have all your stuff in your pockets, all your worn gear. You got your fucking good boots on, etc. You got your uh, wet weather gear, etc. Um, outside of that, outside of your fighting low kit, all the basics you should have on there, mission essential gear is stuff that is essential for you to complete the mission. Maybe it's something like a spotting scope. 
Maybe it's a pair of binoculars. Um, it could be a whole sorts of anything. It could be a whole sorts of thing. Maybe it's rope. Maybe it's a ladder. Maybe it's a freaking breaching hammer, a crowbar, bolt cutters. It could be a whole assortment of things. It is gear that is essential to the accomplishment of whatever that mission is, which could already be a hundred different things with 10,000 different things that are essential to accomplishing that mission. It also could be stuff as simple as more signaling devices, whatever. A uh, whole bunch of things. I'm not going to go into any more of the list. Um, yeah, so that's it. Like, mission essential gear. Now, what other gear could be changed? Stuff that's not on your body. That's it. This shit, you're fighting low care, it shouldn't be changing. Like, I can think of, on one hand, the amount of time that I've had to change my kit out. And one of those was essentially a spendex. It was the last run of the day. Or no, it wasn't. It was one of the last runs of the day. We had a shit ton of 40 mic mic. And I was out of room. I was out of room. Uh, I had on the, uh, I can't think of the name. I think it's the SPC. Uh, all you Army dudes are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the one, it's just, just the plate carrying. It's got the two side pouches for your uh, uh, side plates. That's it. There's no cummerbund. It's just clips. Uh, those rock. If I could get my hands on one of those for under 300 bucks, I would. But yeah. Um, I had that, and I was, I had my fucking inhibitor, I had my IFAC on the other side, I had my canteen pouch with my water, I had six mags, I had my 320, I didn't have no fucking room to put this shit, I still had to have my nods on me somewhere, I don't even remember where I was carrying those now that I'm thinking about it, I might just have them in my fucking pocket, but anyways, I had my cargo pockets, just stuff full of 40 mic mic, because I had nowhere else to put it, like, I could have used, you know, a spare mag pouch or something on that. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I did. I had a spare mag pouch that I snagged from uh, one of the dudes not running the lane. And I think I put it on my back. I had it on my left side, right? I'm trying to remember how I had it. Because I just had the 320 swung. Yeah. But uh, I only had like two fucking rounds in there. But still, it was better than carrying them all. But outside of that, I can't think of another time. I'm sure there was. Because there was more scenarios like that. I suppose another time was uh, when I was in JRTC, and uh, we had to hit an objective that was going to be a pretty fucking miserable walk. It wasn't a long walk, but it was miserable. It was in fucking August. It was hot as shit, and uh, I just decided, fuck it, uh, let's drop the rucks. Let's put sustainment pouches on our backs. And let's put a camel back in there, and I think we were carrying four or five mortar rounds at the time. That's what we did. That's another time. Uh, that, I suppose, mission did dictate the gear. Uh, but that was stupid. I shouldn't have fucking done that. We should have just went in there with assault packs. I thought I was being fucking reinventing the wheel, but it wasn't. It was dumb. And my camel back ended up busting, and then we uh, got to the fucking MFP, and I was sucking dick for beer money. I was fucking thirsty as shit. And I saw the walk back out after we shot the rounds. It wasn't as bad because obviously all the fucking tootsies are empty because we shot all the mortar rounds. But yeah, not a good time. Not a good time. So yeah, maybe just don't fucking change your gear out. Don't reinvent the wheel and just go with what you have. Like I said, think about your kit. Is there really anything you couldn't do? Like really? And are you even going to really have a good understanding of what uh, obstacles you're going to have to overcome to where you would even change your gear? Like, how many times, this is more for military guys out there, but I'm, if you play airsoft, it's probably something similar. How many times has the objective looked so different than what the intelligence said? Or that the only reconnaissance you got was a map reconnaissance, and what you think it's going to look like is nothing what it looks like when you actually get there. And then you're adjusting anyways. So why adjust your gear to a mission and have all these different loadouts? Maybe it's a better plan to have one loadout that you are good with running in a CQB environment. Uh, you're good at running a bunch of different drills and a bunch of different clothing. That's the one thing that is going to change is your clothing and the gear you're bringing with you. The shit on your back. 
if it's January in Colorado, I'm going to have a pretty big ruck because it's going to be cold. I'm going to have a lot of uh, fucking cold weather shit, right? I'm going to have a whole sleep system. It's going to be cold. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't have two jungle bags uh, and I have my winter bag. Yeah. Ask me how I know. I went a long time like that, wondering why the fuck I was so cold and everybody was warm. Well, it's because I had two fucking patrol bags instead of my winter bag. Yeah. Um, that's the gear that should be changing, is the shit that you're adapting to your environment. So maybe the mission shouldn't uh, dictate your gear. Maybe Met TC should dictate your gear, right? That makes a little bit more sense. Maybe we need to fi fix what we're saying. Mission shouldn't dictate gear, but Met TC should. Okay, time. How much time are you going to be going? Again, this is the shit on your back we're talking about, right? If I'm going to be gone for 12 hours, I'm still going to have an assault pack just because, like I said, I can't think of any scenario where I'm, I'm, I'm walking out anywhere without a fucking assault pack, unless the shit's happening literally right at my house. That's it. But I'm going to have an assault pack with uh, a camelback. Now, let's say I'm going out for five fucking days. I'm going to have my malice pack. I'm going to have a camel back in there. I'm also going to have a two liter or a two quart canteen. And I'm going to have uh, two one quart canteens in there, including what's on my, uh, what's on uh, here. So that puts me at, oh, I'm bad at math, eight liters of water. And then I'm going to have stuff to filter more water. Uh, I'm going to have tabs, uh, filter or water purification tabs, stuff like that. So absolutely, that type of stuff will dictate gear. Uh, the environment, obviously, is going to dictate your gear, right? If you're in the Midwest, your gear in July, or this goes, well, it doesn't go for anywhere. Like, Hawaii is pretty much the same fucking weather all the time. But pretty much anywhere you live in the continental United States, your gear is going to change from July to January, vastly. Mainly, it's going to get heavier, right? You're going to need more cold weather shit. Um... Two months ago, I didn't need as much wet weather shit. Now, it's raining three or four times a week. I need a little bit of fucking wet weather gear. Um, now, if it's a 24-hour mission, do you need wet weather pants? Um, no, I don't think so. I think you'll be fine. Do you even need to bring a sleep system? No, I don't think you do. I think you'll be fine. Okay, it's 24 fucking hours. And if you're in the situation where it's went past 24 hours, you probably don't need to be sleeping anyways. It's 24 hours. You can go more than that without sleeping. So do you need your sleep system? No. Again, this is more of the sustainment stuff that the mission would dictate you bringing. But, like I'm going to go over in my video about Mission Essential Gear, Mission Essential Gear will always come first. If you're on a 24-hour mission and you have all you have is an assault pack and you're an ammo bitch, guess what? Your sleep system ain't coming because... The fucking 800 rounds of 308 you got to carry is mission essential. You, you you ain't bringing that sleep system unless you can fit your camelback, the 800 rounds of 308 you got to bring, the wet weather gear you're going to bring, everything else that you're needed that's on your packing list, and then you can fit your sleep system there. It ain't coming. And do you even need to bring it? No, you don't. Um, wet weather bottoms, I, again, I can count on one hand. How many times I actually wore those things. Plus you're going to sweat your balls off. Like they'll literally be gone. You, it, I haven't seen mine. I wore them one time. I haven't seen them since. That was like five years ago. They're just gone. I don't know where they are. So there's that. Alright guys. Well that ends it. Um, remember if you haven't got your vaccine. Don't get it. And good job. Just kidding. Do what you want. That was a fucking joke. Don't delete this video.